Hello friends, so let us go over the second problem from the latest code forces round 7 to 48 problem name make it divisible by 25. So you are given that you have an integer n and the range for n is from 25 to 20 by 18. Okay, now what the problem statement states that in one move you can select any digit and remove it. Cool. Okay, also if by removing any digit, if there are leading zeros that will be remain then those will all like automatically be removed so you can see do those two examples as you can see if this is the number you have if you remove the third digit that is 9 then the number will boil down to 2225 cool if you have this as the number as the input and if you remove the first digit then it will be 00990050 so 00 will be removed okay automatically if you remove 2 and the number boils down to this number cool now you have to tell that what is the minimum number of steps to be removed from this number such that the number should be divisible by 5 25 sorry and it should be positive obviously it will be positive because we're talking about only like numbers we don't have negative here so it will be positive and uh, you have to make it divisible by 25 that's the whole problem and uh, it is guaranteed that uh, it can be done so cool uh, cool how like how many steps are required to do that like how many minimum number of steps are required to delete it if you are required how many steps are required so you can always make it down to some multiple of 25 but what you can observe here is that you have to remember what is the criteria to make any number of multiple 25. So the criteria is that it should be having like uh, the last two digit should be divisible by 25. If any number is there, uh, if uh, let's remove this out first, clear this out. Oh, sorry. Cool. So if I have any number like I, I have like this 7, 20, 3, 4, 9, seven two five i'm just talking about the last two digit if two digits are there that is equal to a multiple 25 that is 25 50 uh 75 or equal to uh zero like 100 so it was zero zero so if i find out any two digits that is following these properties like any two digits which are these two digits then it will be multiple of 25 we don't care about the rest of digits and that is the main trick you want to like remember or you want to know for this problem to be solved now, if you know this property, then it will be easy to solve this problem out. So if you have any digit, let us take the uh, first example that like the second example, 7, 1, 3, 4, 5. So 7, 1, 3, 4, 5. Now my main task is to find out like any scenario in which if I find out like 75 or 25 or 0, 0 or 50, if I find out this anywhere else, then that's my answer. So now what you can see here is that in this case, if I want to find out any two digits because it is up to 18, that number of digits can be up to 18. So you can use a uh, like nested for loop, for loop inside a for loop. Okay. And then find out like maybe if you use this I and this is a J and then for every I find out a pair that is equal to 50, 25, 25 or zero, like zero comma zero. If you find out any of these terms, then so let's say that in this example you find out seven and five cool now what will you do my main task is to bring seven and five together and that they, that should be the last two digits so what you have to do here is let's say that i have some some numbers here this says let's say seven there's some numbers here this is five there's some numbers here this is one scenario that can be a multiple scenario that there's there's two two here there is uh like there are zero here they can be multiple things but let us talk about this scenario only that I have some numbers here, this number and this number to make this come close like seven and five, you have to remove all of these numbers in between. So if this is I and this is J, so you have to subtract I minus J plus one, like minus one, this number is removed so that this part is removed and then you have to remove this part. So this is N minus one index. So N minus one minus J, this number of indexes numbers will also be removed so that seven to five will come close and seven and five will go to the end. So this number should be remaining there. I don't care about that because uh, that will make it 25 multiple. We can remove it, not remove it. It doesn't matter, but we have to find out the minimum number of steps. So you just remove the minimum number of numbers only. So these numbers are necessary to be removed and these numbers are necessary to be removed. Now just find out every two pairs which satisfy this condition. If satisfy this condition, find out the number of numbers you have to remove by this method that add J minus minus I minus one and N minus one minus J. And you have to do a minimum of that minimum 
of that over all the pairs which satisfy this condition. And that's the whole logic for this problem. Let us move on to the coding part now. So I have written down the code here so that it will become very easy for you to understand. So what you can see here is that uh, this is uh, take the input of S and N. The initial answer is N because you want to minimize it. And uh, what you have to do here is just take from zero till N, I plus one to J and just find out the correct number you have. And then if that number is multiple 25, there are only four options. Then my answer is J minus I minus one plus N minus one minus J. And these two are added and you have to just minimize over all the possible pairs which satisfy this condition and just print out the answer. That's the whole logic and the code for second problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention on. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next one. I like coding and bye.